uh, large one I'm an Ablock Eagle and in this video I will get uh, I will give an basic explanation on how to set up uh, Denison's Realm which is a plugin I created for an Ablock Eagle's Realm so first of all go to the web page and see tcp.devrealms.org and then navigate to the product downloads here you see Denison's Realm and for now we have three versions of which 1.1 uh, has uh, failed so I do not recommend downloading this one instead we're going to download the build 1.3 alpha now let it download and drag it to your desktop once it is on your desktop launch it And open up the folder Denison's build 1.3. Next, what we're going to do is open up the Minecraft server. And navigate to plugins. And then we are going to drag all these folders inside here. We're going to replace all the files. Now what we're going to do is start up the server and we are going to wait till everything has loaded up. While it's loading up I recommend starting up Minecraft. I have already done so. So we're going to wait uh, about two minutes for the server to start up. Currently it's setting up the world, world eagles realm. Also, when you download the version, there it says 1.11, 1.11.2, for that actually, and that is the version you will need. Now, I apologize for this uh, spam here. Um, this is because uh, I'm still working on uh, the Dungeon script. This won't happen when you download it for the first time. Uh, this happened because I uh, didn't delete the Sentinels files. I will probably uh, make a comment for this so you can uh, make sure this doesn't happen. It is not harmful though. So when the server is started up, you will see Eagles Realm will now generate the configuration files. And there is an uh, Eagle Realms will now load the configuration files and successfully start it. When you see successfully started, you can go ahead and join the server. Once you are in the server, you can use this command. This command, Eagle Realm. Help. This will narrate a list of commands you can use. Now, since we have started the server up, these files are already generated with 
when you create a new biome, you will need to do eagle realms generate and then eagle realms update. Generate, generate the files, update, update uh, all the files you have generated. So, for example, if you uh, make a change, then all you need to do is eagle realms update and then the change uh, will get loaded into the plugin. Now, if we do eagles or eagle rounds info, or actually world info, it will display information on the world. So the dungeon script is off, blueprint script is also off, and the environment scripts are also off. Uh, this list will increase. I uh, see I have forgotten to include uh, the chess script for this version. And I will include it in version 1.4. So, once everything has been loaded up, you will need to go to Minecraft, plugins, and then you see this file has been added, and now Black Eagles Realm. Open it up, and then you see config, blue tables, and worlds. So let's jump into configs, first of all. The configs will have all the worlds you will have enabled, uh, let's see, in Crane Control. So, if you do MV list, then you get a list of the worlds that have been loaded in. But these files are only loaded in when Crane Control is en enabled for those worlds. So if we go to Crane Control worlds, then we see the two these two worlds. If you have World to Nether, then World to Nether will also generate. Actually, I could make a file. Let's say world hello and then copy the contents of the world hello then do eagle rounds generate then eagle rounds update and there should be a brand new world in ML Black Eagles Realm. There we go, hello. And also, yeah, with all the bounds. Anyway, let's jump into this file right here. Now then you have a list of uh, plugins you can use. Uh, the environment board script players, let's turn that to true. And also for admins, true. Dungeon script is true on default. Uh, chess script is currently true on default, but I will put that on false. Or, yeah, I will put that on false. Each line has an explanation uh, above it. So populate events, populate events, lower this number to decrease the amount of items in your chest, and so on. Anyway, let's do equal rounds update. There we go. I have turned script on, and then we are going to equal rounds world info. And then you see the dungeon script is on true, the environment uh, board script players is on true, and the admin tool. So you see it here on the right side, mix green, survival toolkit, and admin tools. Uh, currently we are in rainforest, and I see there is an issue with the armor, armor insulation. I will need to fix it later on. And the admin tools, it displays the TPS and the RAM you are currently using on your server. Let's 
go down. Um, the Blue Manuscript will come soon, and it's pretty self-explaining uh, uh, with all the comments here. So there's a 50% chance, 15% uh, chance to uh, uh, for a block month to, fur to occur. Anyway, this is not yet included, and it will probably re be released in 1.6 or 1.7. Now let's close off this file. So we have covered the configs, the world configuration settings. Now we are going to move into loop tables. Now, if you open up the chest loop table, I, uh, there is a small explanation here on what you can do and what you may not do. Uh, for example, if you want uh, bedrock to spawn in all chests, uh, then you just remove the uh, hash, the hashtag in front of it. And if you place a hashtag in, hashtag in front of it, it will not spawn the item. Now moving down, I have here a default loop table. Actually, when you want to include rabbit hides, you will need to add it in right here. And there we have the rare loot, and then we have the dungeon rewards. And these items will only spawn within the dungeons. And when I say dungeons, I mean these dungeons. And currently there's only one, this one, but there will be more. Also dungeons, uh, custom dungeons, they have custom mods. As you see, they blow up once they hit me. They will still need some tweaking as that one really blowed up. And uh, there we have the imposter. Doing quite some damage. So I'm going into DMC really quick. And <coughs> uh, well, let's go down to the world settings. Um, then you have the chess script, it is on true. You can also put it on false, so uh, no loot will generate in the dungeons, uh, no loot at all actually. And uh, you also have the repopulate cooldown, so this script uh, supports repopulating chests, and that means that whenever a player empties a chest, it will take uh, 300 minutes, which is 5 hours, to repopulate that same chest. Also, um, the populate attempts is, uh, well actually, I'm going to skip this because it's going to take way too much time to explain every single setting. So let's move on to the next part. And that is worlds. Now if you open up world equals realm, then you see the biome files you have in your world. And I want to uh, say that you need to make sure, let's see where the file is, ah. alright, when you open up terrain control, then worlds, and then world equal realms, um, all the files, all the biome files needs to be in uh, world biome directly and not in a subfolder, otherwise it will not work. They will need to be directly under world biome. Right, back to world eagle realm, and opening up the first biome. So, in the biome, per biome script, uh, per biome configuration, you will find a quicksand script, false quicksand chance. Uh, well, basically the quicksand script, the earthquake script, uh, the wasteland script, and the snake bite script. And this will be expanded later on. Uh, for example, a spawn script, uh, which allows you to spawn giants and special mods in the uh, 
in the world. And because it can be uh, server intensive, I uh, plan to only make it uh, support mods that cannot be spawned using Crinkable. So that is uh, purely giants and uh, let's see what else. Um, maybe guests. Oh wait, no, you can spawn those in using Crinkable. Anyway, I will do some research on that and uh, see what cannot and what can be spawned in. And I will make a script that spawns in uh, the uh, non or unspawnable mods using a list uh, right here. So I guess that was it for um, all the functions, uh, for all the current functions. Let's double check everything. <laughs> Look, Moon is going to be quite something. Yeah, I think that is it. Yeah, so I'm uh, going to wrap it up. Uh, very short tutorial, hopefully uh, pretty much uh, explaining on how to uh, set up everything. And uh, do remember you always have the equal rounds help command to narrate a list of information. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Eagle rounds biome info this this place what scripts are active in this biome so this is rf rainforest large sample and then if i'm correct we have the buffer right here yep and then we have rainforest something i oh know high mountain edge so it's also a way to uh, narrate the biome you are currently in but it will display a list of uh, scripts active at the moment. By the way, this falls in Hey 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 One and another Hey One. Um, those are also in uh, the first script, and they are in there because I'm currently developing the Blue Moon script. So don't worry. I will uh, fix all these tiny bugs and uh, all these uh, useless uh, messages. Well, useless for you guys. <laughs> and that's it. So I uh, hope you enjoy and I hope you understand everything. And if not, you know where to find me. I'm Alpha Eagle, over and out.